I'm one of the very few uh, young people who actually does fish in traditional ways and it's really declining. I see that there is a risk for uh, what uh, what is called the green colonialism, like where um, these um, vast areas that uh, often indigenous peoples like Sami use for for reindeer herding and hunting and uh, gathering, then uh, they are seen as empty places to be used in other ways. What the states of Norway and Finland do in my area, like uh, this fishing regulation, that they don't really even try to consider the cultural impacts that uh, these restrictions that they make have on, on Sami. Well, basically the state forbid fishing uh, in, uh, in the rivers where people had been fishing uh, basically forever. And there isn't even any, any um, like uh, conservation uh, thought behind that because uh, at least many of these rivers are in very good condition. I will not be allowed to, to fish in traditional methods because um, I have uh, um, decided to study so I don't live permanently in my home, home region. I see that this, uh, these restrictions really threaten the whole, uh, whole continuation of the, the culture and the way of life in the river valley. Salmon fishing isn't really a, a full-time job for anybody because uh, it's only at summer time. For many it's, uh, it's part of uh, the income and part of the diet. In, uh, in Detno, in, uh, in the past uh, 35 years, the, the amount of uh, net fishers has uh, declined by 70%. So that kind of give, gives you the idea of uh, where this, uh, this livelihood is heading. It's quite, uh, um, I would even say unfair that it is this traditional ways of fishing that uh, are now restricted the most. When I go fishing, then, then I have to know something about, uh, about the river, I have to know about the salmon, uh, about the uh, yeah, water levels and, and weather and so on, and the nets and, uh, and the boat. Well, for me, all, of the, all this information is in, in Sami language. Fishing has been really one uh, key way for me of learning the language. I mean, I don't learn these things if we sit with my father in, in, in our house. It's when we go outside and do these things and he starts to talk and tell about the things. And that's the way I, I learn also the language, but obviously also the knowledge that is required to, to do this, uh, this kind of livelihood.